Alright, pick an animal. Zebra. Uh, fucking cat. <laughs> we have two pets and one outdoor animal. What is with Game of Thrones? It was a thing. Played, okay, Great. so zebra, cat, or what? Puppy. A uh, puppy. Puppy? So zebra. Nix the puppy. So zebra, cat, puppy. Here we are again. Here we are again! <laughs> We're on week three! Last week! Final Let's week. Go. And I've yet to talk to Damien one on one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good old Vicky. What's it going to be today? Uh, oh, fuck! I don't have enough cocaine. Oh, no! that's unfortunate. Do I have to buy something, or is my turn over if I exit? Yeah. Fuck. You wasted the turn. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. Let's do this. All right. I need. I should have expected cocaine to be expensive. You need charm, which is the best today. Do I need charm or should I just creativity and save up charm? That day an epic dodge dodgeball match takes place. Amidst the battle, you spot a fellow player that seems utterly discouraged. She thinks she's not worthy worth anything at dodgeball, and she attempts to throw a ball at herself. Oh, you we explain got a to her suicide baller. Anyway. You explain to her the many ways you think she's unique and wonderful while also defending the many pleasures in life. With your help, she's capable of finding a reason to keep playing and gains a sense of self-worth. You gain plus one BFF, sadly she's not part of this game, and plus two charm. I like the skeleton in the back of this drawing. Go away! <laughs> you see Miranda. This <laughs> game is not ending. If I get... Apparently Miranda needs also money too, along with uh, with something else. William does not have that. You see Miranda in a gym outfit in the far end of the gym swimming pool. Wait, the gym has a swimming pool? Why aren't you using it? Why are you always playing dodgeball? Why don't you get used to see your classmates in swimsuits? Anyways, as you approach Miranda, she shrieks and her merman bodyguards tackle you to the floor. <laughs> Who are you? Are you here to kill me? I'm just a better swimmer. This is no bias for an assassination. Basis. No bias. Basis. Sorry. Wait, you don't swim. You have no fins, and without gills, you'll just choke right away. Also, I have fire in my head, so I probably might get very uh, hurt or die. Okay, Charmander. Could you help me with this situation? I'm the best swimmer in school. My parents say that it's just how it's supposed to be, but people sometimes get just too jealous. My dad used to send such hoodlums to a farm, but now he says I'm not I'm not 11 anymore, so I have to learn to deal myself with the people who might plot my assassination. I have no idea who's been behind this. Can you help me catch those jealous people? Uh... Loads of minds. <laughs> That's bold. I don't want that. I, I succeed. I need to fail. Not so smart. Aw, oh, you're so sweet. Okay. Yeah, but that's exactly what you were. Sweet. What? Did you think it, my parents were sugarcoating the whole thing to me with the farms and all? No, no. They totally sent them to a farm. Like a real farm. They, Then they, uh, they executed them at the farm after 12 years of labor. Christ. Jesus. Also, I what high school has me. short shorts that short? Anime? Uh, fair. In the anime at all? Any fucking anime, even a a literal normal slice of life anime has, is like not even sexualized is at all, but it's still sexualized because of the shorts. Also those that, that collar's gotta be stretched to shit. You can't ever wear that shirt normally ever again. 
Yeah. I think you're not getting it. I'm looking for the labor slash ex execution thing of that, not the farm thing. But that was implicit. This exchange is being quite useless and not even charming in, it, in its absurdity. Farewell. Right, don't come back. Days later, you would receive an invitation to visit a farm for free. There's lots of glitter and happy faces all over it. You feel a bit frightened. You lose two fun and one smarts. All right. Please let this be the end of Miranda. I have so many days left. When did you go to the life? Oh, that's where the, um, okay. Oh. Hey, Josh. I should go to class. You're dumb. Go to school. <laughs> <laughs> a day you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity <laughs> at this high school. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> My three smarts. You gained two smarts, so I have five now. Also, maybe those things on your shoulder are your elders. Later, you're wandering mm -hmm. through the halls when you hear a voice coming from around the corner. Hi. Hey, I seem to have accidentally turned a bitch stone with my geese. Oh no. Uh. Don't get me wrong, she totally deserved it. Her nose is obviously fake, but plus that nail polish? Abdominal. Abdominal? It's abominable. <laughs> <laughs> that one, like the, the abominable fuck. abominable snowman? Abdominal. Uh. Abdominal. That nail polish? <laughs> abdominal. Totally an abdomen. <laughs> Has pecs and everything. I'm sorry. But. But, this is exactly the first. This isn't exactly the first time I've done this. And Principal Giant Spider said if I did it again, I'd get detention. So now, I need to dispose of yet another body! And I thought that since you're so attractive and kind and clever ah you'd be willing to cover up a literal murder no questions asked right right easy we'll just dress her up in some stuff from the theater and set her up in the quad like she's a new art piece never you fear my lovely murderess my good buddy mr hammer will make short work of the evidence I'll even give you the nose as a trophy. I think the Ooh. top one is creativity. Yeah. Work with your strengths, which buddy. I, which I have ten of. Yes. Yeah. I love it. A plan so stupid, no one ever thinks someone with something as brilliant as me would come up with. And the benefits. I get away with murder, literally. And my family gets credit for a donation. I don't have to hold anything because you'll do it all for me. And from now on, anytime anyone ever thinks of a crossing me, uh. I can just point to the statue and frown and shake my head and no no. Well, what are you standing here for? Get the get the get the shank a costume. Stank. Stank. Ah. Get the shank a costume. And make sure it includes those glasses with the big nose and the mustache. Yeah, I, I can't believe you don't know Skank. Have you watched, like, any typical movies of... Any typical teenage rom-coms from the 80s? No, I, I, I knew... It looked like Shank for a second. But I know what Skank is. Okay. You call your masterpiece nothing to see here, and it's favorably reviewed by Rad Art Magazine. You gain plus two creativity and plus one money. You do know it's Midnight, right? It's 1221, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're all not. Mm. Yeah. Let's trade places. We're almost there. We're almost at the end. Problem Everyone... is that I'm not going to get I'm not going to get her. Everyone choosing an occupation, Sh say your choice out loud before the rest of uh Let's to the rest choose of our jobs. <laughs> Technician. <laughs> Let's just do our jobs. Technician. All right. Uh who was my uh, retail worker? Hook. Mario players orders decided based on how funny an off-brand version of these two players called Hans and Rudolph would be who aside from saving a kingdom are also selected occupations start debating now I feel like cooks would be the best option honestly cooks I feel like would be the best 
Yeah. I'm a toss up between retail worker and technician, but cooks I feel like would be the top uh, choice there. For yeah. The knock off Mario I mean, Bros. It's even it's even on brand. It's Italian. Yeah, you Italian, run an Italian restaurant. Wait, no, Italian restaurant would be like too easy, like too much of a dead ringer for the Mario Bros. Maybe like pizzeria. Maybe they're like Mexican. Ooh. <laughs> they make like tacos and shit. Anyway, uh, who was second? I'd love, I'd love a good burrito. All right. Uh, so, if you can't, if we can't decide, I'm flipping a coin. So, uh, since you're first, choose between a technician and a retail worker for what would be the best uh, knockoff uh, Mario Bros. All right, I'm second. I mean, I'm imagining game mechanics too. It's like mechanics, yeah, that work or technician or whatever. All game right, Amira. Amir is just going fucking nuts on the screen there. You find Damien and Vera contemplating a huge slab of unidentifiable prime meat. <laughs> Alright, Damien. I know we had our share of disagreements during this convoluted poaching expedition. <laughs> like when you told me not to bring all my knives? But I trust we can now put our differences behind us and enjoy the fruits of our labors. You mean the meats of our labors. Yes. Together, we will enjoy this raw, bloody cut of meat as a symbol of our... Wait, raw and bloody? You mean you're not even going to try using fire on it? Of course I use fire. I specifically instructed the chef to prepare this meat while glancing briefly at a lit stove. Did the fire ever, you know, touch the meat? What would be the point of that? A cut this fine can only be eaten ultra rare. Like hell it can! You wait here while I get my culinary flamethrower. Damien! Please! Let's be reasonable about this! What is... reasonable? If we can't come to an agreement, let's appeal to an arbitrary third party. Amira will surely make the intelligent choice for us, isn't that right? <laughs> Oh boy, which one? <laughs> the only correct way to enjoy steak is after I've charred it, uh, after its charred remains have been retrieved from a burning building. Neither of those are edible. That's what I like to hear. That and the sounds of screaming people fleeing a burning building. But roasting totally destroys the flavor of- Done talking! Fire time now! As you flee, screaming from the burning building, you find Damien right beside you. He takes your hand and smiles. It almost makes the third degree burns and massive property damage worth it. Let's go. All right. Has to change something about it. <laughs> As you approach Scott and Miranda's table, you see that the entire table is covered in exotic silverware. Ooh, what's this one for? <laughs> That's a forking spoon. It's a spoon for picking up your forks so that you don't have to touch them with your fingers. That's ridiculous. Hmm. And that one? That's the tuning fork. It's for making sure all your other silverware is tuned to an A minor as it as is proper. All right. What 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 uh, what silverware is what note for an A minor A minor chord? A minor. Um... Okay, Google. What one glass? make up an A minor chord? Okay, Google. Thank you. A, E, and... A, C, and E? A, C, and E. Uh, I had to check with my girlfriend. <laughs> Because <laughs> I have mm -hmm. the memory, short-term memory of a larva, A, C, and E. So, which one's a knife, which one's a fork, and which one's a spoon? I say the fork is an E, because E looks like a fork. C is a spoon, because it's round. And E is the knife, because it's the only one left. Or no. A, a is the only one that is left like a knife. It's, it's pointy, yeah. Anyway, 
<laughs> I like how all of you guys are just fucking silent. Like, what the fuck are you talking like, about, Tyler? You can just stop this whole thing to find out which one is which. <laughs> <laughs> what about this one? Look at his dumbass face. I love it. That's the dairy knife. It's for milk. Why is this so cursed? Wow. Do people ever invent new silverwares? All the time. But none of them are any good. It would take a genius of true sub subtlety. Right? Yeah. That's how you spell that? Okay. That's how you spell, spell subtlety, yes. To improve on the existing canon. Oh, don't talk about canon. A genius mm. of true subtlety. Genius and subtlety are your middle fucking names. You suggest the ultimate new silverware. Salad harp hands. Is it salad? <laughs> hands. Salad. Fucking hands. My favorite silverware! I don't even know Egads. how to say that. It's Egads. Ega how crude. I'm not saying the first one. I know, one. right? My only more my only more favorite silverwares are face and mouth. Scott, I think you're misunderstanding the purpose of silverware. No, I don't think so. Look! Scott reaches into his backpack and pulls out two silver hands, a silver face, and a silver mouth. He holds the hands in his hands and the face in his mouth, and he devours his lunch in a highly counterintuitive way. Wait a second, he's a werewolf. Shouldn't silver be bad for him? Silverware is not particularly silver. It's not what it's made of. It's uh, just what it not, usually... Well, that tip, like, not, any, not anymore, but... Uh, not anymore. But silverware used to be silver, and considering that she's royalty, I wouldn't be surprised if her silverware is actually silver. I would be surprised if it was gold. Plus, he's too dumb enough to be like, oh, silverware isn't silver. He'd be like, yeah, silverware is fucking made of silver, bro. Mm -hmm. So, like, it, it makes sense to me. <laughs> okay. I stand corrected. You're not standing, you're sitting. See, he's a fucking dumbass, and I love it. Anyway, now I gotta put on some ointment. All that silver is really bad for my skin. I fucking called it! Scott lets you put the ointment on him. Nice. Let me rub that always. buff hairy you are, arm, please. You're always, you're always rubbing shit on him. Yeah, exactly. He loves it. He loves being petted. He's a dog. And an absolute scoundrel at that. Um, so I took beer from you, Josh. Laura, you're enjoying and this more than I am. I'm such a good time here. <laughs> okay, please don't go to the dogs. I can't remember what I used for their voices. Should I have both of these voices? Fuck! You find Polly and Liam not eating as usual, you know, because they're undead. Uh, what about I Jesus? I, I have... tricked you! Because if you gone to the dogs, you could have gotten some bonuses! <laughs> I... I worry... Ah. <sighs> Breathe. Breathe. I you can know. totally see him being a breathy type. It's like, you know, the food in this cafeteria really is atrocious. What's up, Bob? <laughs> you know, the food in this in the cafeteria really is atrocious. It's hardly even worthy of my mo my momentogram. Close enough. What is moment mo gram? Moment gram. Oh, what is that? It's supposed to be a riff on Instagram, dude. Oh. Ha! What? I didn't even eat that food. See. This is exactly what I mean. We can do so much better than these sabar culinary abortions. abortions. Okay, hold on, before you continue. Ooh. Hold on, before you continue. Um, Tyler, the joke here, there, there's multiple scenes of this. These two can't eat. Yeah, I know. It's hilarious. One of them drinks blood and the other one's a ghost. And so he takes pictures of his food, and she's just like, yep, I take cocaine, but I can't eat somehow. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. You mean the two of us should have a cook-off? What? No. Did you say something? I'm not listening because I am so psyched about this cook-off. <laughs> At no point did I agree to... I've got a huge advantage though, because I've cooked so many drugs. Oh, you think you got the vantage, huh? 
I've been alive for centuries of culinary history. It's on. The two of them dash into the kitchen, ignoring all rules of law, school, and common decency as they commence cooking. Two celebrity chef judges appear to critique the challengers. I think they're both equally horrible, says the cruel British judge. Fucking called it without even reading it! <laughs> I think they're both equally marvelous, says the overly nice British judge. Both judges turn to you. What do you think, tiebreaker judge? Whose meal truly is the cat's pajamas? Is this a, 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 a thing off the... What is this? I didn't even Wolf want to read it. Suck. <laughs> Wolfgang suck, excuse me. In your face, Wolfgang Suck. I don't know what that means, actually. It's a, it's a play off of Wolfgang Puck, which is a British, a British chain of a uh, like cafe slash restaurant. Uh, that would be a better name for Scott. I'm not even a wolf. As a matter of fact, that would be a better name for you. Uh, oh, what? Because I'm a vampire? Whoa, that would totally make sense. No, I just meant because you suck. Well, this sucker just v wowed, wowed wow. the judges with my blood tart. Tartar. Huh? It's tartar. Oh, it wasn't tart? No. No, it's tater. <laughs> Ta tater? What, what kind of Midwestern American <laughs> bullshit reading of tartar is tater? <laughs> Y'all have no class! Damn! Alright! There's no- No, no, no. He has no class. I'm uneducated. <laughs> what the fuck was Tartar? Tartar is just raw meat that's been, like, chopped up into, like, a paste. Almost a paste. With, like, spices it's raw. and shit. It literally- It's raw. Organic. Free-range blood. Unenthusiastically- <laughs> Unethically. Unethically. <laughs> Christ. How do you get unenthusiastically from unethically? That's like 20 extra letters, dude. <laughs> uh, Y'all are born nice. from the same person. I blame both of you. Within, like, so minutes so of each other, I assume. Eight. <laughs> In that parsley. Farm to table. <laughs> or rather, farm to blood. I threw it into the blood. I like the color. Actually, it's well known that nobody knows what parsley, parsley tastes like. I do know what parsley tastes like, though. It's kind of grassy. Oh, you know, I actually haven't tasted parsley, like, by itself. And you probably never will, because you're certainly not drinking any of that concoction. You tell Liam his prize for winning the cook-off is eating lunch alone with you. Slurp, slurp. Let's trade places. Do we just want to go rant? Oh, okay, challenge. Place player orders decided based on how shitty it would be your if your for your country if you were the president. Start debating now. Out of the three of us, I would be the best one. Let's 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 admit that. Doesn't know what tartar is. Can't deliberate skank between shank. Okay. So since you're the best, you get to decide which one do you think could uh could ru could rule. Uh, um, bro, bro Ford, and then Josh. Why? Because. How am I so bad? Exactly. Bro is, uh, he, he makes like calm, collected decisions while you are pretty explosive when you're emotional. Can be calm. I can be calm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if I hurt you, that's just a legitimate thing. <laughs> Alright, last one. Alright, I need to talk to Damien once. <laughs> once. And Miranda. Oh. Miranda. 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 <laughs> Josh. Oh, it's your turn. What? It's your turn, Josh. Oh. Hello. Hello there. Oh yeah, on the final round you don't get the shot. Oh really? Fuck, I missed out on cocaine. I couldn't even buy it anyway. Even if it makes... 
Even if I make it to 13 money, I'm not gonna be able to get it, are they? Actually, I think she gets you the gets the earrings at the final chapter. She's pretty fine. Well, even with that, will it increase my my money stack? Because that's what matters. It by default increases your money. Okay. Oh, that's a nice fix. <laughs> that day you spend some time on the library's PCs, sending malicious spam emails in the hopes of stealing other people's money. It doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame if they respond to such a blatant, blatant scam? You lose minus 10 karma, which isn't a stat in this game, so who cares, and you gain plus 2 money. Vera runs up to you, eyes blazing, teeth gleaming. <gasps> you will never believe this shit! Remember how the coven said we'd never find the earrings? Because they had them the whole time. Huh? We're summoning those bitches and taking those earrings at any cost, even if it's the last thing you do. Um, did Vera just imply she was willing to let you die in order to become prom queen? It worth it. <laughs> Irrelevant, because the coven has been summoned. Nice try. So you figured it out. Good for you. Now give up, because you're never getting them. It's fucking wearing them. I see them right there. That's what Miranda said about the sea opal ring her dead gra grandmother gave her. Look what I'm wearing right now. I don't see it. How do any of you have any friends? It's baffling. You're horrible, horrible people. I mean, they're not wrong, but there must be some way to get them to fork over the earrings so you can complete the ritual. Wow. You're not you're not smart enough for this shit. <laughs> Are you charming enough to to uh convince them? You can be charming enough to convince them or be bold enough to steal them. Have you're fun. not you're not very high on either of them, so I'm not going to win this, all right? Aren't I? You might not get the secret ending, but it's clear that Vera has feelings for you, so you might win this. No, if, it's, if I don't have enough money or don't complete a secret ending, I'm not going to get good on it. Uh... Well, you have enough money, I would think. Ooh, I'm charming. You, you are? Somehow with six charm? Wow. Of course we are. Did you really think I, could only, I only cared about fashion and finance and showing dominance over my fellow students? been a cover this entire time. I've really been using all my free time not to trick other uh, trick people out of their money in complicated business schemes while looking incredible. I've been <laughs> saving orphans from interdimensional monsters because what does that say? Ah, huh. I like doing altruistic things. Huh. We had no idea! Your acting is incredible! You really do seem like an entitled, uncaring bitch! By the way, when I said, what did that say, I was playing it off like she was reading a note card. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bad guys leave you alone if they don't know you're out... You're... Uh, you're out to defeat them. We're gonna use an ancient ritual to destroy a lava monster holding kittens captive, but we need those earrings to do it. Take them! Take the earrings! You are truly starting to lose faith in humanity. Thank goodness you secretly had a pure heart and good intentions this entire time! Hmm. 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 Exactly! <laughs> sure. Totally. With that, the coven disappears in a puff of smoke, smiling broadly, finally believing that there truly is good in the world. Ha! Suckers! Can you imagine? Let's go make me prom queen. It's always nice to make a friend happy, and even if Vera isn't ex actually want you to do good in the world, 
Maybe she'll do you? You gain two boldness and one fun. That's a very bold statement. <laughs> Let's do this! She wants to do the little eldritch horror. Okay, last chance. Are you gonna go? Hello? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. Okay. I'm thinking. You're bumfuck broke right now. Do do boldness to guarantee that he might Ugh. just say yes because you could be at 20. Fuck it. <laughs> Are you not going to read gonna it? Speak? Not for that. <laughs> Thing is, you make one of the bold decisions in your life. You don't put paper on the toilet seat before using it. Oh no. Look at you, crazy bastard. Gain plus two boldness and probably one Stephylococcus. Stephylococcus, not Stephylococcus. Cookus! <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, mispronouncing the name of an oh STD. You're chilling in the I bathroom have... with Damien and Miranda. Thank the gods for co-ed bathrooms. Everything's going great and you're, you're obviously very cool until you hear some noises. Oh snap, it's Crazy Martin, the Werebear Janitor! Damn, we're done! If I get caught skipping class again, they're gonna feed me to the school's dragon! Or even worse, they'll make me come in on a Saturday! This is bad. I didn't bring my champion! Who would fight to the death to defeat, defend my honor? What can we do? It seems they're both waiting for you to do something, but how do you scare a werebear? No time to think, you bust out of the stall and... Make yourself as big as possible, but Showtime play dead until he goes away. You puff out your cheeks, stuff a bunch of toilet paper in your shirt, and wave your arms in the air. Crazy Martin has no idea what the hell is happening. He thinks he's having a flashback to Nom. <laughs> oh no, that was such a bad janitor joke. As Martin flees the bathroom, Damien puts a hand on your shoulder. That was stupid as hell, but you sure scared him to death. Stupidity plus bravery is my favorite mix. You're rad. Yes, that was superb. For a moment, you scared me too. So convincing. You're my night. You're my. I think that's a misspelling. I think that's supposed to be night Tess. In King shining Tess. armor. Kingist. It, it, I think it'd be. I think it is Kingist. No, she wanted a knight, but she, she, she since you're a girl, you, you uh, identify as a girl uh, in the, for this character, uh, Knight S was what she was going for. Anyway, defeating a werebear with nothing more than toilet paper. That was something to remember. He gained plus two boldness and plus one creativity. Yep. Okay. All right, Vicky. Time to get that okay, himbo so around your finger. Creativity, probably. Fabric charm. Um. Literally, creativity, charm, or fun. Any of those will help you get him. Uh, fun, fun would be the party, right? Yeah. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. Okay. At one point, Juan, the small, magical Latino cat, slips on a banana peel. You start to laugh at him. He asks you to stop, but you don't. You laugh so hard at him that you somehow steal plus two from plus two fun from him. Hooray! Afterwards, Scott catches up to you, panting excitedly. For the right reasons, I hope. Bro, hey! I was just looking for you. I can't stop thinking about you. Ooh! Surprisingly forward. I'm sorry, is this cheating on you? No, dude, fucking go for Fucking it. go for the himbo, alright. <laughs> We don't fuck him tonight. We're we're over. <laughs> if I if I mentally fuck him, I, I'll take the, I'll take that advice into ha into my mind. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. <laughs> give me notes. Give give you notes of how I mentally fucked this himbo. <laughs> Got it. This is sounding good. So I thought maybe tonight, if you weren't doing anything, yes, yes, <laughs> we could maybe go somewhere private and you know use our bodies to. Yes, yes. Work out! Uh, oh, okay, maybe you're a little disappointed, but you can still salvage this. You suggest the most romantic workout you know. 
naked basketball or French squats. I think naked is boldness. Um, and French would be creativity, maybe charm, charm or fun. Ooh. I think charm. I think I think French squats is charm. Naked basketball. Oh. Boldness. You're not bold enough. Naked basketball. But isn't that sort of redundant? What? No, you explained to Scott that basketball is normally played with clothes on. It is? No way! Is that why all my teammates always wear clothes when we play? But the professional league is called the NBA, the Naked Basketball Association. No, it can't be! You're just trying to pollute my pure love of the game with your weird anti-nudity thing. And to think I was going to play basketball with you. Aww. Defeated, you reluctantly put your clothes back on. <laughs> <laughs> you lose two charm and bolt one boldness. Ah, oh. got all. I hope that I everything it, else. I, I hope that told everything. Him exactly what, 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 I I told him which ones were which. He chose the boldness. I all have right. no part of his decision. Time for us all to line up and get rejected. Oh, is it me first? I hope that every. Right. I hope that everything else has. <laughs> hope that everything else has been uh, lining up for me to be yeah. able to get uh, get him. As Vera to the prom, Amira. All right, so I haven't talked to you one on one, but I have 22 boldness. Yo, you guys are like well, power couple. Fun. All right, all right, all right. Come on, Scott. Please say yes. Oh, I'm first. No, no, you're first because you're player you one. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to monster prom with you. Prom. I guess we can go. We can get wasted, so wasted that we end up burning stuff down, right? That sounds like a rad date to me. You got it. Entire fucking episode of just Miranda rejecting you Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, fuck you, Miranda. I feel like you'd find that charming, though. <laughs> Sticking Dude. it to the man and burning down the pat or ma matriarchy, I suppose. <laughs> Dude, I would have found this ending so hilarious if Miranda showed up out of nowhere and be like, No, he's mine! <laughs> Let's burn <laughs> stuff down together till dawn! Love is metal! Love is metal. Prom night was crazy intense. I got an achievement. At one point, a classmate of yours criticized how Damien is always getting into fistfights. For which Damien punched him, starting yet another fistfight. <laughs> you joined in and fought with him back to back. I do like how his like necktie is like untied. Oof, that's a good look. It was a super sexy choreographed fight, and you even exchanged trusting glances while watching over each other's black backs. And that wasn't the only time that night you took care of Damien's rear. Wank! Ooh! Let's go! Whoa. You finally your pluck turn. up your courage and ask your beloved to go to Monster Prom with you. Uh, prom? <laughs> I don't know a lot about math, bro, but you you plus me seems to equal a great night. Fuck yeah! yeah! All right, mm. now Josh just needs to get rejected. Let me this check our math books to be sure. That isn't mm. a correct formula, but Scott is still thrilled by your upcoming prom date. We're the perfect team. Prom night was rad. Oh, that's cute. Well, there was that part when the full moon came out and Scott transformed into a rabid wolf and nearly killed three people. But aside from that, it was a wonderful night to remember. All right. Not as eventful as Damien, but... Prom. <laughs> well, this uh, is the uh, end of my thing, right? Is this a huh? secret ending? Ha! You help me prepare one blood ritual to assure my crown, and suddenly think you, you, I'll go to prom with you? You kind of assume that, yeah. Not bad. I must admit, you've surprised me quite pleasantly during our little ritual adventures. Wait, wait. And there's definitely something in you that entertains me. Okay, you know what? The blood ritual actually requires an act of filthy lust happening inside the pentagram in order for it to work. Ooh. I'm going to let you join me if you want to. Let's do that. Let's do that. See how it goes and decide what to do from there. She can make sure you stay rock solid for the entire time. If you're blood ritual material, you might actually be prom date material too. So, deal? Deal. Let's do some magic. Oh shit! Do I have to censor this for YouTube? <laughs> Holy uh, potatoes! Who no, would have thought? It's already technically censored. Okay. 
Who would have thought Blood Rituals could be this awesome? I mean, it clearly shows like the top half of her ass. That's the best part. <laughs> That's the best part of the ass? <laughs> I, I'm afraid, sir, that you don't know the full ass. <laughs> you go through the whole thing to impress Vera. But inside, you're already thinking that someday you'll tell your grandkids this is how the two of you fell in love. <laughs> but for now, keep it cool. Oh, you also totally end up going to prom together. Do we get that picture? Okay. Probably not. Oh, I no, think okay. I acquired that picture. Jesus Christ, there's a thousand five hundred fourteen outcomes? Amira most That's likely to first die. Term. Oh yeah, most likely to die in a fire and be awesome while doing it. Scott most likely to be a good boy. Yeah! Alright, we all got we all got our time with our honeys. Credits. Tune in. Tune in next time. Wait, wait. Be war. Oh. Okay, wait, that's cool. Those three we weeks. Those three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened. And it was wonderful. Scott unexpectedly ended up in film school and partnered with Vera to co-create their very own TV show. It was bought by Notflix, since Notflix will buy anything. Even a crazy TV show co-created by recently graduated high schoolers. Damien became an interior designer specializing in torture machines. Last month, Vogue magazine called his products the refined marriage between macabre and chic. Liam started an iconoclastic band that broke all conventions. Their latest album has been a hit. It has no songs at all. The album is actually just a banana set on fire. And be sure, Liam doesn't care if you don't get it. <laughs> For those three weeks, the monster prom seemed larger than life. Then it was gone, just like that. The battle for monster prom, stuff. huh? I got a little something like right. I lost you right after you said something about um, somebody, uh, and then it, mine just popped up. Like Miranda used her vast knowledge of surfs to get a job, hand picking the best surfs for other people. Oh, this must be the people that you interacted with during the whole thing. Ah. Okay. The battle for Monster Prom might have ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in that war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Yeah! There we go. I like this. Wait, okay, this we music's have, cool. Do we have to censor this for copyright too? I'm wow. not sure. Cause this one has lyrics to it. Well, yeah, but if it's used in a game, it might not be the case. We'll look up a video later. Oh, silverware. <laughs> game night, okay. Look at them, they're all friends. They're all friends, they're all buddies. And plus I can't sense I can't censor the music if I want to hear you guys in the video. <laughs> There's a couple characters that I don't recognize though. Because we have to do events to act to uh... play the game more and more to get to all characters. Oh, okay. Events. special stuff. We'd have to look it up to do the special stuff. Okay. That punk cat is really speaking to me, though. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for one day where she becomes the character that you can go after. You can. You can, can't you? Yeah, you just gotta keep hanging out with her whenever she's available. Wait, but you can do that, like, in this game? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Wait, go to the shop, like, every day and do something? And do nothing. Just go in, go out. Oh, this is their this is their pair picture. Okay, that's cute. You've unlocked six new images in the gallery. You just unlocked an erotic fanfic about dragons. This is about to get weird. Wait, what? You've unlocked new images in the gallery. You've unlocked a new fanfiction about dragons? What? That dragon one that you had? Okay. That you... No, no, the, uh, what? Head. Okay. 
should I should I actually want to see this? No, it's. Oh, I found it. You found it. You want to read <laughs> it out for picture. us there? No, no, no. I found the picture of of Vera. Ah, uh, okay. The one from my 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 special scene. <laughs> Polaroids. Have I not unlocked any pictures of the endings? No? What? You should have unlocked the, uh... Uh... I don't Vera think one. you got a, a special ending. I think you just got a normal ending. You should have gotten the Avira one. Because I got it. If you go down to endings and go down to five, you should see Vera. Ah, uh, they're all locked for me. Maybe it's because it wasn't my character that made it. No. Wait. Yeah. Is it because I was the host? That's why I got it. Maybe, and maybe. Got... I don't know, but I got the I got that picture with uh, Vicky and Scott from the water. My fear of cutie patootie. What the fuck? I don't know. I think it's random. Huh. It says I got six new pictures, but the only new pictures that it showed was the uh, the creators. But I already had those. We got a concert art. That's unfair. I got no pictures. This is bullshit. Terrible game. Zero out of ten. Would play again? Probably to get more pictures. <laughs> I'll let you host next time. All right, yeah, that we'll, we're gonna have to save it for next time. Well, how about we alternate hosts? Just, just, oh my god, I got a very nice, uh, like this isn't like a sexualized picture of Vera, but like it's like a very cartoony um, artwork of her. You're gonna have to like send me these through Discord because I want to see. Or you can, or you can see it in the ne in the episode that I release. I suppose so. I guess if you guys want to see it, well, oh my, you can god, send it to I me see... through Discord. But I'll make sure to tell the people watching right now. That if you want to see these pictures, go watch it on Oddford's channel. I'll definitely uh, leave the link to the video when it comes out in my description. So, um, nice. Also, subscribe to him. If you want to be the first ones to watch it, definitely subscribe to him and watch it there. Uh, also, check out Broford's channel. Uh, I'll leave that channel link in the description as well. With that being said, I do hope everyone here has a great rest of the day, rest of the week, rest of the month, rest of the year, and the rest of their life. And I will see you all next time. This is KSOC signing out. Bye, everybody.